Hi everyone, I'm here for the part two of the week one review of my One Book July. Now, I'm sure you're thinking, well, there's two notebooks here. There's kind of a reason why. This is my everyday carry that I'm using for everything. And this is my one that I uh, just received, actually, this past uh, last week from uh, Monique at Morgan Le Fay's Trinkets. And I'm using for Peaky Dory Designs. And I have a larger version in here of what I'm doing in here for my project planning. Um, there were a couple of things I did want to show. Some people had asked. Um, I got a question about a little, let's get the pen out of there. Still in my lovely pen. Used a lot of ink actually in that one too. Um, someone had asked, oh, I got my IDs up there. I better be careful. Um, where I got these cute little trackers, those little charts. I got those from an Etsy store and the Etsy store is right here, Decade30. Uh, you can go to Decade30.com or, um, you know, do an Etsy search for Decade30. And there are three different types that I have. And this is how they print out. This is the first page with, like, directions on telling you how to print them out. I just reprinted some new ones. Um, and this is just on regular paper. And so you can see there's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's 21 on, on a page. And you can print them on, like, on, you know, that sticker paper that you can get that's um, 8.5 by 11, or on paper and glue stick. So there's this um, version right here, which is the one that I'm using in my um, bullet journal because I like the size of it. Um, then there's this size where you've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. You have sixteen on a page, and and these are just three. She has lots of other shapes and designs. I like the squares. And then this size, where you've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, you got 28 with this one, because it's more of like a um, square size. And then, you know, you've got this little space where you can write, you know, what it is you're wanting to track. Um, so there are those. Um, so my project, my project that I am doing for One Book July is I am organizing and going through my walk-in closet. When I moved to Tulsa 11 summers ago, on the hottest day, <laughs> I drove out from Cincinnati to Tulsa, Oklahoma. The air conditioner went out in my car and I had um, my dog and my cat um with me and it was <laughs> quite a, a miserable trip but um there were many times i wanted to turn around but i'm so glad that i stayed um <laughs> or finished the trip out here um so i had boxes of stuff that i had had here since i had moved packed away in my walk-in closet that I had never even gone through. And some of those boxes went with me from, um, went from Oklahoma to, um, from, you know, went to Oklahoma from Cincinnati. And before that they were in Indiana and before that they were in Louisiana and before that they were in Michigan. Um, and I did a major, major, major purge. Um, so the insert that I have been using to help plan this project is this wonderful insert right here. It is the DIY Fish version carry. Um, and the reason I have both of these notebooks here is because I am using this little size one when I'm out on the go and when I'm planning. But then I also have in my new um, Camel notebook by Monique. Both of these notebooks are by Monique, actually. So I'm using Monique's notebooks this summer. Oh, there's my writing board. Um, so I have a large version 
where I can maybe get a little bit more work in and a smaller version for when I am on the go. Um, so I actually started this project actually a little bit early because I actually had time. I started this project um, actually on Saturday the 20... what is that? The 25th of June because I knew I had that whole entire weekend um, available for the project. Um, and so all I did was I started creating a list of the actual projects that I wanted to do. And I'll put it in here because it's a little bit larger. I wanted to clean out the walk-in closet. I wanted to organize and clean the dining room slash office. And I wanted to assemble a new desk that finally arrived that I'd ordered. I wanted to go through and declutter my teas. I have a lot of teas from Tivana that um, you know, have, have gone bad or I didn't like anymore. And that's the only project that was completed, um, but I'm glad I got it completed. And then I want to organize my music at my office at the Bartelmas Conservatory um, and bring some of that stuff home. Um, so what I have here is the DIY Fish Carry. This is the traditional Midori size, and I just planned a few things. I put my work schedule there just so I would know what days I would have available to work on these things. Um, and so the first week I wanted to do a basic clean of everything and, and go through. And so what I did the first week was I went through everything in the walk-in closet. I um, wanted to purge or, you know, via the KonMari method, anything that I didn't want. Um, I move, I wanted to move my dresser into the closet and I wanted to organize my clothes. All of that stuff I got done. Some things I wanted to do was I wanted to give and donate some of the music that I wasn't using away. And I'm still in the process of windling that down. I have a huge, huge, huge pile, um, actually two big crates of music here that I will be getting rid of. And I do have probably another two or three. So it's stuff that I don't teach. It's stuff I don't play. It's stuff I don't use. It's stuff I'm never going to perform. So it, it, it needs to find a home where someone will use it or um, donate it to a library, the Youth Symphony, or something like that. Um, I have a few items that I found that I want to sell. I have a Yamaha um, classical nylon strum guitar. I've got a keyboard, a soprano sax, um, a soprano sax stand, which um, a friend came and got. And I have a treadmill, and the treadmill will be taken probably away this week. Um, I decided that the clothes I had were too bad, and I wanted to uh, toss them. Um, I plan. I tried to do a lot that weekend. I mean, I had my my teaching at the conservatory and at the university, so it was it was a lot to to try to do. Um, the project was going well. You know, I got rid of the treadmill and the sack stand, and I just I took a, a few notes down here to you know keep myself pumped about this project because it's it's a big project when you're going through things that you've had for over half your life. Um, so now here we are on this week. And so the things that I had over here, which are also on here that didn't get finished, I had an arrow. And so I merged them over to here and I've got a little book dart so I know which week we're on. Um, and so you can see, I still have to assemble the desk. The treadmill isn't in the dining room anymore. I'm going to insert some photos here. That's what this hand symbol means for myself. So you can see the treadmill is gone. Um, and also there's some shelves that I want to assemble for um, the closet. I'm going to insert some photos here of the stuff that I have removed.
and then what the closet looks like at its present without all of that stuff in them. I finally got rid of all of the clothes. I have to take my books to the resale shop. Um, that we're going to be doing on Monday or Tuesday because the person that will be assessing which books they're going to buy back and how much is out of town. So we're doing that next week. I wanted to clean the bed of my truck because I even had stuff in the bed of the truck because I have a cover. Um, so I got that done. I took the music that I wanted to keep the, to teach to t the University of Tulsa. Um, I wrote clean the truck bed twice. <laughs> Can you tell it was something I was really seriously thinking about? Um, and I also wanted to clean the back seat of the truck and the treadmill will be going next week. So I just it keeps getting pushed but it's because vacations and family time and holidays so all of the stuff here that hasn't been finished i've also put here so i'm going to insert here some photos of what um how my project is going and it's actually going quite well um normally i plan these things and don't um get them finished because i you know other things take over or take precedent and this july i have much more freedom much more time to actually get this project done and it's something that i've been wanting to do for two years since the fiance has been um living with me um because in order for him to feel comfortable here we need to make space and this is something that i desperately need to do so and what i've been keeping here is just a little chart of the things that i want to sell and when they sell they will get a check and then when the next week happens they won't appear down here but that's what i'm using that that little space for down there so this is how i have been using the diy fish uh, LMI version carry inserts. I know it's probably not the way they were designed, but it actually works well for me because I can see at a week all of the different things that I want to do and or try to do. And, you know, I can check off the ones that have been done and the ones that haven't, I can, you know, um, you know, for, forward them to the next week. And those are the first things that I have to do. Um, and some of them, the reason is because it's, it's such a long process, you know, cone Mari and everything. Um, but it's been a wonderful experience to um, get that done. So let's see, I'm going to have photos inserted in videos inserted into this. So we're at that 13 minute Point. So if anyone has any questions, please leave a comment down below and I will try to answer as much as I possibly can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.